Yes, I get it. I have been bad. My picks have been bad. All right. At this point, I don't fault you for not tailing them, but I must continue to keep going and try to get better. I just firmly believe that in life, when you're dealing with adversity, you just try to get through it. And uh, last week, talk about adversity. Talk about a tough week, people. Last week, Vegas made out like bandits, all right? Last week, we had four heavy, heavy favorites lose. The Bucks lost to the Steelers. The Niners lost to the Falcons. The Ravens lost to the Giants. And the Packers lost to the Jets. Picked all those teams to win last week. They all lost. Here's a, a fun uh, little nugget for you guys. If you had put $100 on a parlay with these four uh, underdogs here, so Steelers money line, Falcons money line, Jets money line, and Giants money line, $100 would have won you 32000 Yeah, it was that type of week. So um, let's do it. Let's talk about my record. So last week I went 6-8 and eight straight up and 5-9 and nine versus the spread. Yeah, your boy got hammered. Absolutely destroyed. So that brings my overall record on the season to 48 and 44 straight up. And whew, here it comes 38 and 55 versus the spread. Yeah, I'm not too proud of that, especially that second number. But it's been that type of season. It's been that type of season. Normally, I probably would have been like, maybe I should just stop doing these picks, but. I got to bounce back, and that's what we're going to do, so let's get into it. All right, so here we go. Got every single Week 7 game here listed for you guys, and we start with the Thursday night football game between the New Orleans Saints and the Arizona Cardinals. Now, I got to tell you, folks, because I've been struggling with these picks, I want to change up my strategy just strategy just a little bit, right? Tweak things, right? When they're not working, that's what you do. Well, I'm going to try to go with a little bit more of what my gut says to me rather than just go by the straight numbers and if you take a look at the, just the numbers right the Saints you would say on paper the better team but they're missing a handful of players today with Michael Thomas with Jarvis Landry so they only have one solid receiver in Chris Olave and starting the backup quarterback in Andy Dalton the Cardinals on the other hand they just lost Marquise Hollywood Brown but they're getting their number one option at the wide receiver spot back in DeAndre Hopkins. Talk about perfect timing, right? You lose your number one for the time being, and you get your real number one back. And D-Hop, guys, he's a difference maker. Make no mistake about it. This is a guy who is at his best top five and sometimes even the best receiver in football. DeAndre Hopkins is that damn good. So I think he's going to be a big spark to this Cardinals offense, to Kyler Murray. So give me the Cardinals here to win this game, especially being at home. If this was in New Orleans, maybe it's a different story, but the Cardinals at home, give me them to win this game. And it's a two and a half point spread. I will swallow those points because it's not three. If it was a half a point more, maybe I'd take the Saints to cover, but two and a half, I'll back the cards on that one. All right, moving on to the Sunday games. We got the Colts at the Titans and for the the love of me, I can't figure out this Colts team, right? When I pick them to lose, they win. When I pick them to win, they lose. Last week, same situation against the Jaguars. Somehow they come out, put up 34 points, win. Well, look, I'm just going to continue to just, you know, back away from them. And I'm not very confident about this one, I'll be honest. I'll take the Titans. Being at home here, they've already beaten this Colts team. And I just can't trust this Colts team because I just can never figure them out. They don't know when they want to play. And so, yeah, I'm just going to go with the Titans who have beaten them already on a winning streak. Derrick Henry, the formula simple, pound the rock, give it to him. Two and a half point spread. I'll take that uh, for the Titans to cover and win at home. All right. New York Giants at the Jacksonville Jaguars. And Jaguars, three point favorites in this one. I hope I read that line right. But if I did, um, that is what it says. And I'm sorry, I'm not buying it. I'm riding the train here. Give me the Giants here. I'm a firm believer in Brian Dayball and that coaching staff and more than any other sport, coaching makes the biggest difference in football. And he has that team just playing out of their minds right now, right? And so to me, the Jaguars, yes, they're a solid team, but they've been underperforming. They shouldn't have lost last week to the Colts. I'm not backing the Jags here. Give me 
the New York Giants to keep things rolling here, even on the road against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes, they don't have all their receivers, but heck, they haven't needed them. They beat the damn Ravens last week. All you need is Daniel Jones off the play action, bootlegs, running the football, and Saquon Barkley, who's been the best running back in football this year. Trevor Lawrence, very inconsistent so far. Started off hot, tailed off. You don't know what you're getting from him. And so to me, I just think the Giants are the better team. Point blank period. That's what my gut says. So give me the Giants. All right. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, after they let me and everybody else down last week in a prime spot against the Steelers, they are traveling to Carolina to take on the uh, the clown show that is the Carolina Panthers. Um, who knows who they're starting at quarterback? I think it's P.J. Walker again. And uh, look, last week, the only heavy favorite I got right was the Rams beating the Panthers. And so I'm not packing the Panthers here. It's a big spread for a reason. Give me the Bucks here. Tom Brady uh, was pissed off after that loss last week. He was on camera. You can see him yelling at his offensive line. And when, when Tom Brady's pissed off, he is going to take his revenge. And that's what he's going to do against the Panthers. Shouldn't take much here. The Panthers are awful. Arguably the worst team in football. Give me the Bucks here. Again, going with my gut, it says they destroy the Panthers, who are arguably the worst team in football. Could have a fire sale. Just cut Robbie Anderson. Maybe CMC's next. This team is done. Give me the, the Bucks here to win this game. Um, and cover that big spread. Yeah, I'll swallow the 10 and a half points. I don't see how the Panthers keep up here. All right, Green Bay Packers at the Washington Commanders. Now look, the Green Bay Packers have been an absolute mess. This team just does not look the same without Devontae Adams. And we saw last week they got manhandled by the Jets. All right? No longer can you trust on the Packers. Period. It used to be you couldn't trust the Packers with big spreads. Now you just can't trust them, period. And so to me, taking on a Washington Commanders team, am I going to pick the Commanders to beat them? Thought about it a lot. They're starting Taylor Heineke at quarterback. Carson Wentz out with a hand injury. I just can't do it. If it was a more formidable opponent, a team that actually is halfway decent, I would say, yeah, I'll pick them. But the Commanders, they're just not that team. Their defense is atrocious. This is obviously a, a get-right spot for Aaron, Rod Aaron Rodgers. I think the Packers win this week, and I think Aaron Rodgers has one of those games where he throws probably for two or three, probably three touchdowns, and has like 300 yards because the commanders can't stop anybody. Look, folks, last week the Chicago Bears, my Chicago Bears, ran all over them, had more yardage through the air. Carson Wentz had like 99 passing yards that game, and the Bears lost. The reason why is because of... The fact that they shot themselves in the red zone, all right? And if it wasn't for that, the Commanders would have never won that game. So this Commanders defense is very easy uh, to, to be able to do whatever you want against them. And I think that's what's going to happen here. Yes, we, the Packers are on the road here. So maybe I'll take the Commanders to cover the spread, but I'll take the Packers to win that game. That's how I'm feeling about it. All right, just because they're not trustworthy at this point. Detroit Lions at the Dallas Cowboys. Give me the Dallas Cowboys here to win this game. Seven point spread's a big spread. I'll take the Lions to cover that. Look, Dallas is getting Dak Prescott back, and he's ready to prove to everybody, not that he needs to, but I think he will, that Cooper Rush is a backup for a reason. Dak Prescott is going to get his job back after the Cowboys finally lost against the Eagles, and now at home against the Lions, who are an atrocious defense. He should be able to go ahead and have a great game. And that's why I like the Cowboys overall to win this one. Now, why do I have the Lions covering? It's It could be a backdoor cover. It's a big spread. Seven points is a lot here. Look, Detroit's defense, excuse me, uh, Dallas's defense, very good. But this Lions offense it is very solid. They can put up points here, people. And we're talking about a dome. We're talking about uh, the fact that they'll probably get some of their guys back. Like, I think the Detroit Lions can cover the seven points, spread. That's a big number, all right? Let's move on here. Falcons at the Bengals. The Falcons, man. Last week, they, they cost me a lot with that victory. I, I'd i love to back them, but I'm not going to. Give me the Bengals here uh, at home. Six and a half point spreads. Uh, six and a half point favorites are the Bengals. And this is where I learned from my mistakes. Yeah, give me the Falcons to cover that. They have covered against the spread every single week. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. So I'm going with that. Uh, give me the Falcons here. Um, and, and you know what? They're not a terrible team. They just 
They play smart in the sense of they run the football and play, uh, you know, clock control. They, they, they don't let the skin get away from them because they control the clock. And so give me uh, the Bengals to win the game. Clearly the better quarterback, the better team. But the Falcons, with their methodical style, can stay in it and cover a decent number, which is six and a half, maybe it goes to seven. Certainly like them to cover that. All right, Browns at Ravens. Not too confident in this one. I'll go with the Ravens to win the game, but give me the Browns to cover the six and a half. Now, look, the Ravens lost last week to the Giants. The Giants have been beating everybody, but they shouldn't have. The Ravens have underperformed this season. And this week, per the injury reports, they could be without their tight end, Mark Andrews. He's mispracticed twice. We'll see what happens there, but that would be a big loss for them. Um, and so with the Ravens, it's really a team that I can't trust and depend on. Uh, and you're talking about a Cleveland Browns team. Look, the Browns absolutely got uh, schlacked by the, the Patriots last week. Uh, but this is a team that's still a solid football team. So to me, I'm going to go ahead and take the Ravens here and the Browns to cover. So yeah, one more time overall, better football team, the Ravens. But their defense, especially the pass defense, not very good. The Browns should be able to throw on them. So give me the Browns to cover. All right, Jets at the Broncos. And yeah, no way in heck am I... Picking this Broncos team. They're an absolute mess, even at home. Here we go, Upset City. Robert Sala a few weeks ago said he's keeping all the receipts. Of all the people making fun of the Jets, well, he kept those receipts. And he is replying back to every single one of those critics with his performances from his team. Last week, that domination of the Packers. Man, this Jets defense is a problem. They could have a co-rookie of the year on the same team with Sauce Gardner and Brees Hall, who's been unbelievable like this Jets team is a problem. And I'm sorry, the Broncos defense is good, but their offense is still a mess. I just can't back this Broncos team, even though I want to. I can't back them until I see them turn it around. Like, they physically are broken. This offense is broken. This coaching staff doesn't know what they're doing versus the Jets. They're on the upswing. So to me, I'm going to go ahead and pick that. And even if you like the Broncos, they're favored in this one still by one and a half. Take the Jets to cover that. Take them to cover. I'm picking the Jets straight up to win because I just believe they're um, trending upwards, but you can go ahead and, and do that. So, yeah, give me the Jets here. All right, let's move on to the other games here. Houston Texans at the Las Vegas Raiders. Give me the Raiders here. This is a very, very simple game plan here. I'll take them to cover the touchdown. Josh Jacobs running like a man on a mission. Texans, one of the worst run defenses in football. Josh Jacobs is going to go off here. 100 yards, a touchdown, probably more. Go ahead and take the Raiders. All right, Chiefs. Uh, excuse me, sorry. That's the next one. Seattle Seahawks at the LA Chargers. Give me the Chargers to win this one. Uh, minus five and a half of the spread. I'll take the Seahawks to cover that. They've been very impressive. Chargers are the better team in terms of their, their roster, right? And they should get Keenan Allen back, so they should be fully healthy. But the Seattle Seahawks can't discount what they've been doing with Geno Smith and company. Been very impressive. I'll take them to cover that. If this was a minus three, something along those lines, I'd probably take the Chargers to cover that, and they're at home too. All right, we got the Chiefs at the 49ers. Give me the Chiefs here. Um, minus three, yeah, I'll take that. The, the 49ers just late night last week against the Atlanta Falcons. This is a team that is going to go up against a juggernaut in KC. Uh, you're telling me Jimmy G has to throw the football and score a lot of points? Yeah, no, I'm not going to take that. I'll take the Kansas City Chiefs here, even though they're on the road here. They are certainly on the road. 49ers defense just hasn't been healthy. If they had all their guys, certainly, yeah, I would probably take them, but I just can't do it. So give me the Kansas City Chiefs here to win this game. All right, Pittsburgh uh, Steelers at Miami Dolphins. Give me the Dolphins here. Tua Tagovailoa should be back here. Who, who knows who's starting a quarterback for the Steelers, whether it's Kenny Pickett or Mitch Trubisky, but the Dolphins are the better team. Look, the Steelers played well last week, but the Bucs should, should not have lost that game. They just shouldn't have. So to me, I'll take the Miami Dolphins uh, at home uh, and Tua being back against the Pittsburgh Steelers team, which hasn't been very impressive this year. All right, Bears-Patriots. Give me the Patriots. Monday Night Football. Patriots are just a better team, folks. The Bears have been awful. They they couldn't score in the red zone against an easy defense like the Commanders. You're telling me they're going to score against a tough defense like the Patriots with Bill Belichick? Yeah, no thanks. Give me the New England Patriots there. So real quick, by the way, I forgot to give you guys the spread picks here for these last two games. So I'm going to go ahead and take it's minus seven for the, the Dolphins. I'm going to go ahead and take the Steelers to cover that. That's a big number. Uh, I don't think I'll, I respect the Dolphins that much. 
And then minus eight uh, for the Patriots against the Bears. I'll take the eight. I'm telling you, this Bears team, they're bad folks. And uh, New England, especially being at home, they could dominate. We've seen what they've done to team like a Detroit Lions or even a Cleveland Browns. It's going to be bad. And also, these are the teams I buy this week in case you didn't see them. Bills, Rams, Vikings, and Eagles.